Hey, it's Randy from Voices. Now, should you be wearing headphones when you're recording your voiceover work? Headphones can feel a little bit distracting, but they also have a really great feature, which is that they allow you to hear yourself back in real time so you know what sort of quality you're working with. So let's talk about the pros and the cons of wearing headphones. One of the most obvious pros is that it allows you to hear things like mouth clicks, plosives, and even things like bumping the mic stand all of those things that may be completely missed while recording and then you'd have to go back in and punch in and try to edit out later it speeds up that process it makes switching back and forth between recording and editing that much quicker it makes things like punch-ins that much more seamless this helps preserve that natural cadence in your phrase so if you want to punch in and redo part of the copy with the same energy as the previous take it's much easier and finally a voice generally sounds much quieter in a well-treated room with lots of acoustic paneling this is because there are less reflections bouncing around the space and coming back to your ears now, as humans we use reflections to understand our surroundings it tells us what room we're in and what the size and shape of the room without those reflections it can be quite disconcerting because of this headphones can really help the voice talent not feel the need to overperform due to the lack of acoustic response that they're getting in their space. So what are the cons? Well, especially for voice actors who are doing character work, headphones can feel relatively restricting in the way of their performance. Many voice actors will opt not to wear headphones in the booth and instead just record and review their audio via headphones later. They may also cause some strain or discomfort over a long period of time. Even if you're auditioning, let's say a couple hours per day, ear fatigue can be a very real thing. So which headphones are the right ones for you? Well, there are a few reasons why professional headphones trump consumer models regarding voiceover work. Number one, superior sound quality. They pick up all the nuances of your performance and your environment. Two, wider frequency range. You can hear all the different layers of your recording. Three, they're designed to have a relatively flat response curve. Now this is important because you really want an accurate reflection of what's actually happening in your recording. Four, they're durable. They help withstand regular use and last longer generally. And lastly, and I think most importantly, in my opinion, of course, comfort. Comfort is key. You may be wearing these headphones all day long and the higher budget brands, they generally spend more money on R&D to make sure that they're comfortable and something that you can wear all day long. Everyone's preferences are different though, so make sure you try out as many brands as you can to see which ones feel the best for you. Now, one last thing for consideration is that there's a big difference between open back and closed back headphones, especially for performers who wear them during their recording session. Now, while either option is fine for voiceover artists, it's important to know the differences. Open back headphones allow some of the acoustic sound from the room to come in. Now, a lot of voiceover artists, especially those wearing headphones while they record, say that they prefer the open back style because they feel like they're a little bit more natural to speak with while wearing, and they're slightly more comfortable because there's no spatial awareness restrictions. Letting in a bit of air also means that they don't warm up quite as fast and they don't really get clammy in and around your ears. Closed back headphones are very isolating. They don't allow any sound from your environment to come in. Closed styles are necessary for music recording because bleed becomes an issue. For instance, if you're playing along with a backing track, closed back headphones are necessary so that the microphone doesn't pick up the sound leaving your headphones. And finally, when it comes down to the budget, we typically recommend headphones anywhere from around $50 to around $200 and there are dozens of options that are available in that price range. I'll actually link down below our blog, which includes a roundup of our top picks. But generally speaking, the best headphones for voice actors are those that provide clear sound reproduction across all frequency ranges. They should be lightweight, affordable, durable, and definitely comfortable to use for extended periods. As always, happy auditioning. We'll see you in the next one.